go back and check, make sure I haven't left anything. I didn't even think to look. Todd, Todd, Todd. You doing? Back down at the scene of the crime. Down at Cathar where I crashed the drone last time. You can see the um, old jetty in the background there. What a beautiful time of the day. How cool is this? Oi. Oh, don't want to get wet. Back in the early 2000s, from about 2001, uh, this used to be my local beach. We used to live down not far from here, a place called Gwondolin and Nord's Wharf just across the highway. Um, the family had the Cafe Hotel, Cafe Pub they call it. Look at this place. Like a deserted island, isn't it? Yeah, anyway, um, the whole family was in there running it. The parents, my brother, brother's a chef, he was in the kitchen. I was running the bar. Uh, Mum and my sister, they were in the the restaurant it was just a um, good time of our lives all of us being together working together fighting together very rocky up around here I don't know I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get through this being high tide very dangerous part of the uh, coastline along here. One particular time when I was opening the hotel one early morning, had this young Vietnamese guy come running into the pub yelling, screaming, his mate had fallen into the ocean around here. Yeah, there was no getting him back alive. They had the rescue helicopter and everything out, but once you're washed into the um, you know, off the rocks up here. There's very little chance of coming out of it alive. The waves are just crashing and slamming you into the rocks. Unfortunately, he lost his friend.
so nerve wracking getting it up here above the water so high. When you're out so far and you get the um, low battery warning, you know you've only got so far to come back before um, before it take rides over, takes control of it, raises it to 30 meters and brings it back. And I just don't trust it. Do not trust it at all. Out over the water, me thumbs are going like this. Oh. <laughs> the footage is probably all shaky. We just nerves are racked, mate. Oh, right ah. So I got one battery left. Might head back up. Yeah, yeah. You see that spot there? No, no, not that spot. Right there. That's the car park where I was when I crashed it last week. So I want to go up there and we'll see if I can not crash it this time. Let's go! I didn't go down down here earlier on. Beautiful sunrise this morning. Thought I'd walk over here first because there would have been at least go back and check, make sure I haven't left anything. I didn't even think to look. Todd, Todd, Todd. You doing? Uh, let's see. Have I lost? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. It's a good thing I thought of that. Oh man, not thinking. Anyway, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by my forgetfulness. There would have been at least a dozen photographers set up underneath that jetty. The wharf. Jetty. Wharf. What do you want to call it? Jetty or a wharf? We all know it as a jetty. The wharf is just a big jetty, isn't it? But keep hearing that siren. Must be a siren over there for the uh, nippers. Surf life saving or maybe shark siren. Dunno. Yeah, so I didn't want to annoy them with um, a screaming drone. So, just over a week back in Laos, guys. Nina and I have got an awesome trip planned out. Going to some new places we haven't been before. It should be really interesting. So stay tuned guys, you're going to love it. Look at that coal seam. Incredible. Just exposed there. Okay, I'm going to negotiate this without getting wet. Okay. Looks like we're going overland guys. Okay, let's climb this. For the only reason that it's here. Mm. Now this shelf here is just completely black. It's just a seam of coal. And you can see these pylons all burnt off. Burnt down to the water level. One day, one day, when I get back from Laos, gonna fly the drone between that jetty, I think. Just don't have the balls right now. I bought the drone to go to Laos and I hit one of those pylons, the drone won't be going to Laos. 